Welcome back to Project Rad Bull. As you can see over this Christmas period, Pulse Performance Race Engineering have been hectic busy. We're at the final stages of the assembly. Warren here is doing the last of the wiring for the Heltec computer before we can push the start button and hear this thing for the first time. All right, final wire is plugged to the Heltec. Final line is plumbed for the fuel system. We are now ready to fire this thing in the guts. First switch, it depends on the ECU. Second switch, ignition. And uh, look, everything's everything's pretty ready done, to fire. So should be good to fire, man. Let's start this bad boy out. Oh yeah. If you're gonna build a rotary to slay the eights, this is it. All right, let's get this thing on the dyno ASAP. All right, so Brad Bull started and it's driven under its own power onto the dyno, so now this is a very exciting part. We're gonna get this thing strapped down, start pulling some numbers. I have goosebumps right now. Halfway through the tune, we've only just started throwing a little bit of boost at it, and it's already smoking up the two six fires on the dyno. We just can't get any traction down, got too much torque, so now we're changing out the tyres, just trying to get a bit more grip onto the dyno. Obviously, the dyno's a new thing to some people. Basically we can simulate any power that we want and then we can check out all the gear, make sure everything's operating correctly, how it should be on the track. For the owner of the car or the driver of the car, it's always about the numbers that you get. Uh, for us as tuners, it's more about how the numbers respond to what we're actually doing with the, with the computer and the ECU. Okay, it's been a crazy two days down here at Pulse Performance. We are now finished up with this thing on the dyno, pumped it's already into the four digit figures on low boost. Next thing, throw this thing on the trailer, get it up to my shop so I can do the cosmetics and get the library on this thing. You know, there's a real fine art when it comes to the cosmetics. And it's definitely one of the most fun parts for me. I love doing these creations and always trying something unique. For the NCMX5, no one is really doing what we're doing with this thing. So there's nothing off the shelf that we can really use. You know, it just comes to hand grafting a lot of parts. And when you're building one pushing the boundaries this hard, sometimes it takes a little bit of art and creativity. I've got an auto connection right rear over fender, but it it's probably about the right size that I could cut something up here to give us enough guard clearance and give this some, some stance. You know, each year, each generation, each season, it's always about trying to come up with something fresh, something new, and just come up with something unique, you know? So yeah, I guess that's the addiction I have, is like building these cars and putting all this stuff together, and it's just like that buzz of like unveiling the car for the first time and showing it to the people, and I think you can just show so much character in building cars and that's why we like to always do stuff that's so unique you know we're starting with this little hairdresser's mx5 into what we've turned it into now so you know another thing is the progression and the actual designs themselves i can spend hours on the computer hours doing renderings and sketches and drawings and then when it actually comes to vinyl and applying it, it all kind of changes and a lot of it is actually freestyle you know and the bonus of living at the shop is that I can spend hours just staring and getting ideas and then applying them and like I say it just it changes a lot from the initial concept. So as the final stickers are now done, Project Rad Bull is very near completion. It has been an amazing opportunity for me to showcase the quality parts, the insane workmanship that goes into building a professional drift car to take on the toughest competition around the world. We have something truly epic lined up for the reveal. I'm telling you, it's going to be well worth the wait.